Hey, we got a hot topic today. Yeah. We got a hot topic today. It's gonna be, it's gonna continue to, like, I feel like there's gonna be a lot going on with this topic, just as days go on, but I know y'all, y'all have heard of the new Netflix docuseries, Self Made, about Madam C.J. Walker. Yes, it was a dope series. Y'all need to check yes, it out. Yes, we binge watched it in one night, yes. and we set up until like 2 o'clock in the morning watching it. But it was so many different topics we could pull from that, but there's one in particular that was just like beating, like one right. of the most significant topics in that movie. Right. Which... It was obvious that you couldn't overlook. You know, and it was dealing with Madam C.J. Walker and her husband's relationship. Um, and I think this is a topic that a lot of, uh, especially in today's climate, in today's society, where especially in African American community, where the, the majority, there are way more educated women than brothers out there. We right. just gonna be honest. Uh, black women are out earning black men by a significant margin, if we just gonna be honest. Um, so we wanted to come on and discuss how do you deal with fellas, ladies, fellas, how do you deal with your woman? When she's ultra successful, and you kind of, uh, and you kind of just there, uh, supporting and doing uh, in whatever way you can, um, women, ladies, how do you handle your man when you out here doing your thing, winning out here getting your shine on? How do you handle your man in your relationship? So that's the topic for the day, y'all. I think it's gonna be good. It's yeah. gonna be good. I, okay, so I'm gonna start with the ladies, right? So of course, obviously, we know Daryl gave you the stat, like there are a lot of women that are out earning men nowadays, right? But I feel like we have to kind of discuss in where that community. came, in, well, in our, specifically in the black community. So we have to kind of understand where that came from, right? We were kind of, as black women, we were put in a position to where we had to become, you know, the person that provides for our family at a certain point, you know, in our history, right? So that's just something that was ingrained in us. Right. And I think during that time, you know, a lot of, women that may not have understood their identity, you know, outside of their spouse started realizing, hey, you know, I have a purpose. Like God has a purpose and a plan for my life as well. And so I can pursue those things also and be successful, which is totally fine, totally. which I feel like you should absolutely be doing because if you're not elevating yourself, like what are you doing, right? So, but I think the thing we need to understand, like when we are getting in these positions of power, we're getting to a place in our lives where we have become breadwinners in a sorts. Like at the end of the day, when it comes to your relationship, it, it always boils down to respect, right? It doesn't matter how much money you make because at the end of the day, you guys are supposed to be a team. So, you know, like we always like to preach, you know, when it comes to your spouse, you have to be mindful about who you're choosing to be your spouse. Both men, you know, you have to be, you know, a certain type of man to be in a relationship with a woman that may be making more money um, than you. And then also the woman, like you have to be picking a spouse that can also handle that um, part of you, right? Because in the in the um, docu series, self made, like Madam CJ walked away, and she wasn't holding back. Okay, she, she was, was out here to trying pump. to get these coins. You heard me? <laughs> She's trying to build generational wealth for her family, she and she wasn't really letting great. anybody hold her back. And you know, her husband was having a hard time dealing with that. But I think that's one thing that she didn't realize. Like those signs were there before she became an entrepreneur. Like what type of man? I don't think he necessarily. I don't think he necessarily had an issue with her going yeah. out there trying to create the wealth and grinding. I think he had an issue because he was. I think he was very supportive mm -hmm. from the beginning. No, I think he was. I think my point to it was. I'm sorry to cut you off, but my point to it was was that not necessarily that he wasn't being supportive of her, but also he didn't like they weren't in a place where they were trying to go the same place like they didn't have Literally. the same dreams right. and aspirations and she didn't realize that about her husband yes he was supporting her in the beginning yes he was doing all these things but his the vision that he had for their lives was different than the vision that and she had for their lives so that i think that's where the conflict came in true true and that's why it's so important that's that's why it's so important to get somebody look going in the same direction y'all gotta be we teach that again i ain't even gonna go into that oh uh, my take from the thing was, look, I'm going to speak to my fellas about it, because to me, this is all about the male ego, honestly. And the male ego is a huge thing, and it's a fragile thing all at the same time. Cause, look, I know I have a huge ego, huge ego, but it can easily be bruised, you know what I'm saying? Especially by the people you love. Um, but I believe in the situation, I thought he was very supportive um, of what she was doing, but 
And I think she could have done a better job in handling how she handling him. Cause at the end of the day, call me old school or whatever you want to believe. I believe a man has is a certain role and there's a certain level of respect that a man must command in his own home in order for him to be able to lead his family. Um, because you're the breadwinner doesn't make you the leader of the family or the head of the house and not and not in my book. Um, so it's a certain way in order for a man to wreck to me, in order for a man to effectively raise his children, um, in order for a man to really do anything in life, a woman as well, is a certain level of perception that the people have to have of your position, period. Whether it's your wife, your child, your business partners, whoever you're dealing with, the people in your community that you're dealing with, there has to be a certain level of perception. I think what Madam CJ failed is she, in her pursuit of what she was trying to go after, this, making this money, which ain't nothing wrong with that, she lost her level of perception of her husband didn't remain where it needed to be. And I think that's what that's what got him in his feelings. Because yes, that would get any man in his feelings when his woman, the woman he loves, doesn't perceive him in a certain way. She would talk to him in any type of way at times. She would show him up in front of certain people. And, and yes, I know y'all can say, oh, that sound petty. But at the end of the day, that we're men. That's how we wired. That's how we built. We command a certain level of respect. Um, and my whole thing, my point on her making more money, to me, that's cool. I, I believe when you, the more my woman shines, that makes me, that, that makes me look better. The better that makes me look. Um, so if my woman is out here shining, I'm gonna do what I can to help her shine. Period. And to me, you shouldn't be insecure as a man if your woman is making more money than you, as long as you're able to provide and take care of your family. I.e., so if I I have a job, my job may be to whatever. I have a skill set. I only make fifty thousand dollars. Hey, that's cool. I can I can provide a house for my uh, family. I can put food on the table for my family. Anything else Dominique is doing, cool. But you can't have you can't be insecure to the point where her making more money than you now affects the way that you try to treat her. Now you want to uh, try to compensate mm -hmm. for your lack of money that you're earning, and you want to try to rule over her and command. Cause the type of woman, if you got a woman like Madam C J Walker, she was a monster. And I respect her. I respect everything about her, what she was out there doing. She did not play. She didn't let nobody run over her and that type of thing. And you got it takes a special type of man to do that. Yeah. And that goes back to the point um, Dominique made of picking the right person. We always say that. And that's why we teach a, cry, it's a certain criteria what you should be looking for when you're searching for a spouse. But anyway, male, the male ego is a fragile thing. I think the two takeaways you should take away from this is what you got to have a certain level of perception of your man and what and you got to choose the right spouse we gonna keep saying it y'all and fellas I you got to let gotta. your woman shine man you got to let her shine you got to let her shine what's the point of having finding you we all want this amazing gorgeous beautiful woman that can handle her own this that and the other so why i get with her and then expect her not to shine i don't try to dim her like like you can't do that you can't do that be supportive men be supportive of, of your woman's dreams Women, keep the level of perception of your husband where it should be, and I think everything will be all right. Yeah, so let us know, y'all. I know y'all watched it, because y'all sitting at home, quarantined, you ain't had nothing to do. So I know you did watch it. So let us know, what were your thoughts on, on uh, Self Made? How did you like it? How did you enjoy it? It was clearly over it, y'all. So we about to get up out of here, okay? Don't forget to leave us comments below, and also y'all can reach out to us on social media at No Longer Single. That's K N O W longer single. I love that. I see you. <laughs> Give it my salute. All right, y'all. We're out of here. See you later.